Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question Find Pivot Index. In this particular problem, we are given an array of integer nums and we need to calculate the pivot index of this array. The pivot index is the index where the sum of all the numbers strictly to the left of the index is equal to sum of all the numbers strictly to the index right. Now, if the index is on the left edge of the array, then the left sum is 0. Because there are no elements to the left, this also applies to the right edge of the array. We need to return the leftmost pivot index and if no such index exists, we need to return minus 1. So we are given certain examples with the particular problem. So in this example, we are given an array of 6 digits. The output is 3. What this means is the index 3 is the pivot index because sum of all the values to the left of this pivot index is equals to 11 and sum of the values to the right of this pivot index is also 11. The constraints given in the problem states that the array can be of the length 10 raised to power 4 and the nums of i that means the value inside this particular array can range between minus 1000 to plus 1000 both inclusive. So now let's see what this problem is all about and how we can solve it. So this is the first example that was given in the problem. But rather than going with this example, let's generalize this particular problem and try to come up with a solution to it. So let's take the values to be A, B, C, D, E, F rather than numbers. Now with this array, we will be discussing three cases. The first case wherein C is the pivot index, the case two where B is the pivot index and the last and the extreme case where A is the pivot index. Case one and case two are pretty similar to each other. Now let's take the first case where C is the pivot index. Now what does pivot index means? It means all the values to the left of this array and their sum which is A plus B should be equals to all the values to the right of this pivot index which is D plus E plus F. This means that these two values should be equal. So let's take out this particular equation on the left. Now there is another equation that we can come up with which is nothing but sum of all the values of this particular array should be equals to total. Now going by the logic, in mathematics we can write the first equation as a plus b moving all the values to the left turning the sign to negative and then it is equals to 0. Taking the two equations and adding them up, the sum d plus e plus f can be rejected from both of these values because in the first equation it is minus in the second it is plus so both values cancel out each other now when we do the addition we get 2 of a plus b plus c is equals to total so sum to the left of this pivot index multiplied by 2 plus the value of the pivot index is equals to total now this will give us the pivot index now let's move to the second case in this case also the value to the left is a the value to the right is c plus d plus e plus f both the values should be equal we take out the equation we add them up over here c d e f will cancel each other out and we get 2 of a plus b equals to total which is similar to what we got in the previous case as well the sum of all the values to the left multiplied by 2 plus the pivot index value should be equals to total. So wherever this particular condition meet, it will be the pivot index for us. Now coming to the third case, wherein A is the pivot index. So there is no values to the left of this pivot index. So it is zero. All the values to the right of the pivot index, B, C, D, E, F, and they both should be equal. We take the equation, we add them up and we cancel out the values b plus c plus d plus e plus f. So in this particular case a is nothing but total. In any array if the starting index value is equals to total then that particular index is the pivot index. Now let's see what all results we got in each of these cases. In first case we got the result as 2 of a plus b plus c equals to total. In the second case, the result was 2 of a plus b equals to total. And in the final case, when a is the pivot index, we got a equals to total. What common thing we see over here? Whatever sum that we are seeing and then multiplying it by 2 is nothing but 
the left sum from the pivot index. So if at any index we get a condition wherein 2 times the left sum and the value of the pivot index is equal to total, that particular index will be nothing but our pivot index. Now this particular equation will be easy enough for you to code this by yourself. So try to code it by yourself and once you are done with your coding you can continue watching this video to see how we coded it. So let's start coding now. So as we know that we need to first find out the total sum of the array. So we'll do a for loop. Now that we have got the total sum, we need to have a variable called left sum, which we talked about initially, which will be zero. We will loop on this particular array. Now there is, has to be some condition. And if that condition meets, we need to return this index. If not, at the end, we need to simply return minus one if we do not find any pivot index. So the condition that we talked about is two times of left sum plus the value at this particular index should be equals to the total. Now we need to update the left sum. So the left sum will be incremented with the value present at this particular index. And that's all the coding that we need in this particular problem. Now let's try to run the sample test cases. So it ran successfully. Now let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity in this particular case is O of n. Since we are iterating over this array, the space complexity on the other hand is O of 1 since we are not using any extra space. Do remember that this particular problem we are asked to return the leftmost pivot index. There can be a case wherein a slight change in this particular problem will be a rightmost pivot index. In that case, we need to iterate from the right rather than from the left. And pretty much this left sum will change to the right sum and everything else. That's all for this problem. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.